gotta be honest, the movie sucked. This is the worst Godzilla and Kong movie I've ever seen. They barely even show the fight. They keep cutting up the scenes. Human character sucks the most. Even though I don't care about that. And the action is so choppy, man. This is the worst Godzilla movie I've ever seen. And I think they should stop. They ruined it. Sorry, guys. This is no joke. I'm. This is the worst Godzilla movie I've ever seen. One out of ten is what I can give out of it. Goodbye. You don't believe me? Right. It's an April Fool's joke. April Fool's, everybody. Even though it's kind of obvious. But anyways. Hey, guys. I know it's been such a long, long time. And, well, I got a lot of work to caught up with. And... I did promise I was trying to do something creative, but I guess I didn't have a chance. I'm sorry, but I'll try to make it up to you. But I want to say this. Thank you guys so much for helping me reach over 300 subs. That is so cool. And when I see 300, guess what I'm thinking? This is Sparta. I love the movie 300, but we'll talk about that next time. Right now, let's talk about Godzilla vs. Kong. So I was able to watch it on IMAX today and by the time i'm uploading this video is probably on april 1st but i'm recording today on march 31st so i was able to watch it at the opening day and i will not do any spoilers i'm just going to do a quick review talk about what i love what's there and what they could improve or what to expect so first of all what i love monster Madness, man. There's a lot of monster actions that I'm seeing straight and there are no cutways and I'm actually glad and it's even better than King of the Monsters. 100% not gonna lie. It is better than King of the Monsters and if you guys don't really like it because of the choppy action, this is a better stronger action and I recommend you guys watch it whenever you can. Now I know we're still in COVID but I'm seeing we're still improving in a way but I still recommend still be safe so if you guys are confident or you guys been vaccinated and feel confident you can watch it in theaters or IMAX I recommend IMAX and watch it in the biggest screen possible but if you're not comfortable or you want to play it safe then I highly recommend watching on HBO Max even though it's not the same experience but as long as you get to watch Godzilla vs Kong that's all that matters so anyways I love the action the story seems to be simple and that's pretty much every Godzilla movies I've seen. And the human characters are a little bit better this time around. And I did like Gia at communicating with Kong. And it's like one of those heartwarming moments. And I love Kong himself too, yes. And you're wondering who I'm team? I'm still team Godzilla. But I also respect Kong because Kong is like one of the coolest monsters I've ever seen. Plus he is... In a way, one of the OG monsters before Godzilla. But hey, props and respect to him. I do... Um, let's see. What are some few things I did like? Um, there are some funnier jokes, I would say. I did chuckle time to time. And the visuals are beautiful. You can see a lot of details. Especially, I love the daylight fighting. And that's one of the best parts of it. And if we're going to have a sequel... Let's hope we have those. Now, what I hoped they have is I'm hoping the movie was a little bit longer. But I do feel it's kind of shortened. But every Godzilla movies are at least an hour 40 or an hour 50-ish. Well, and then, of course, some recent ones or some of the Godzillas were two hours. I was hoping at least this one's two hours too. But I guess... The pacing is okay. I do like the pacing, but I feel it's a little bit... It's trying to like rush it a little bit, or it's like take its time and then rush. In a way, I think it's okay, but I feel the pacing could have been better, but I think still better than King of the Monsters. It's just a little bit slow, then fast, and slow, and fast. This one's more like starting from the bike and speed up, then slow, and then, you know. Um. Now, let's talk about some few things what I do not like. 
I guess it's the villains, and I'm not gonna do spoilers into it, but I just feel it didn't really satisfy me on the the villains how they supposed to represent for this film, especially for one in particular, which I will talk about in the spoiler section. And what is it? I also feel this movie feels like it wants that I want to hook in more or want to see more, but I guess we had to work our way into it. But I mean, that's just me personally. But I do love Godzilla vs. Kong. This is probably the one of the best MonsterVerse for action-wise. However, for those audience who want to watch it for, I guess, drama or human connections or like how they did with the original Godzilla from 1954 or like the 2014, you're probably not going to find that in this movie because this movie is already telling us it's Godzilla vs. Kong. It's two monsters beating the crap out of each other. If that's not that title of movie you're looking for, I probably say you're not going to be satisfied. But for those who know exactly what this movie is all about, about monsters being each other, then you're in the right place. Anyways, what are my overall thoughts? How should I rate this? I know many people will rate this about 7 or 8 out of 10. I'm going to be honest. I do love it a lot, so I'm going to give it at least a 9 out of 10, actually. That is my personal score. Now, many people will say it's probably at best as 8. That's totally fine, because I don't think Godzilla vs. Kong is a masterpiece. It is a great movie, I will say, and probably a movie that we all need at the time and at the moment, because a lot of COVID stuff that is happening to everyone, and... And I just hope everyone gets to have an entertainment. And it's kind of coincidence that somehow that the movie theaters are opening with the time of Godzilla being released. Godzilla vs. Kong being released. And as well, I'm counting with Rey and the Last Dragon. But it's kind of a bit coincidence, don't you think? But anyways, my overall thoughts, 9 out of 10. And if you guys are planning to watch the movie, I recommend still be safe and stay strong. We all are in this together. Anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in, and and please do not comment on this channel any spoilers. This is a spoiler-free channel. If you want to comment spoilers, wait for the next video, and we'll talk about spoilers, okay? I'll say maybe expect it within one week or so, because I want to give everyone a chance to watch it before I start doing spoilers. Anyways, thank you guys so much, and... If you guys are Team Godzilla or Team Kong, just comment down below. Let me know. Like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, guys. Until next time, this is Kaiju241117, signing off.